Welcome folks to a special video. I'm Samurai TX and today it's Sunday the 18th of March 2018 and next week the Formula 1 2018 season begins in Melbourne Australia. So with that being um, said I think it's time we uh, meet the drivers and the teams and do some predictions in this video. So I'm pretty excited to talk about my predictions but without further ado Let's, anou let's announce the teams and drivers. So we have um, the Mercedes team who are current world champions and constructors world champions. With um, the team of current world champion and four time world champion Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas at the wheel. And then second Ferrari who was the runners up and um, had the runner up driver in the team in Sebastian Vettel. And they've stuck with Kimi Raikkonen once again for this season. So two unchanged lineups so far. The third one is Red Bull with Daniel Ricciardo and Max Verstappen. There's the third um, unchanged lineup for the um, teams. And then the fourth one is also unchanged with Force India sticking with both Sergio Perez and Esteban Ocon. So now we go to fifth place. This is where the change begins because um, Williams has changed their driver with Felipe Massa retiring at the end of the, the 2017 season. Sergei Sorokin has taken his race seat and Lance Stroll keeps his with Robert Kubica being in the test driver role. Sixth place was Renault last year and um, well they did do a, a mid-season change last year with Jolien Palmer being ousted for Carlos Sainz so this year Carlos Sainz keeps his seat for a year um, as per contract agreed by Red Bull and his teammate is Nico Hulkenberg so that's going to be an interesting um, battle between the two of them. Seventh was Toro Rosso and um, this has changed as well because Carlos Sainz is out of there and uh, Daniel Kvyat was ousted and now is um, in the Ferrari as a test driver so they have Pierre Gasly and Brendan Hartley who both um, came in at the end of the season. Um, eighth is Haas from last season and um, their driver lineup has not changed it's still Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen and they've looked very promising in the testing um, in Spain for the past two weeks ninth place was McLaren Honda well they're not Honda anymore they're McLaren F1 now but they're partnered by Renault so um, Stoffel van Dorn and Fernando Alonso are the two drivers that's um, in this team and finally Sauber who have kept Marcus Ericsson but replaced Pascal Wehrlein with Charles Leclerc, who is the new driver um, in the team. And they are also partnered by Alfa Romeo. So without further ado, let's go to the predictions. Alright guys, this is what you've been waiting for. So, um, how about we get started with some predictions? And um, I have written some predictions that I um, thought would happen for the 2018 season. So here we are. We're going to start with um, one that um, has pretty much got me optimistic now that McLaren have um, ended their partnership with Honda. And they have the Renault engine. So I expect them to be competitive. Speaking of McLaren, Fernando Alonso is going to end his podium drought. His last podium was in um, 2014 at the um, Hungarian Grand Prix, I believe. So yeah, he's not had a podium in nearly four years, so I do expect that to come to an end. And um, I do expect Stoffel van Dorn to challenge for podium as well. So I didn't put van Dorn to get a podium, but I did. Um, but I'm going to put McLaren to get a podium, so either driver. So I'll put Stoffel van Dorn and Fernando Alonso to get a podium. So that's my prediction for one them. And um, Kimi Raikkonen is my other um, prediction. He will finally end his... Um, Race win drought. He's not won since Australia 2013. So it's been five years since he's not won a race. Hopefully this year it will come to an end. He's still competitive even though he's the oldest driver on the grid. I still think he has a lot to offer in terms of um, his ability. So um, he has the same car as Vettel. So I expect him to challenge this year. Whether he will win the World Championship, I don't know. I'm a huge fan of Kimi Raikkonen. So... Um, you might, um, during my tweets, you might hear me be a bit biased and whatnot. Um, <laughs> so don't judge me. I am a Kimi Raikkonen fan. But um, I'll try and keep the bias to a minimum with um, Kimi Raikkonen and whatnot. But um, I also put Nico Hulkenberg will finally score his uh, maiden podium. This guy has terrible luck. He's such a talented driver. It's very criminal that he's never had a podium before. 
I, I think Nico Hulkenberg is well overdue a podium. He jokes at how honoured he is to break that record of the driver um, with the most races without a podium. Still, deep down, I think it really does hurt him, knowing that he should have more than um, zero podiums. He should have at least... Um, I say he should at least have 10 or more, to be honest with you. But, yeah, Nico Hulkenberg, I think next year, will, uh, well, this upcoming season, will um, end his drought of no podiums. I also predicted that Robert Kubica will have a race in the Williams this season. I know that they have Sergei Sorokin and Lance Stroll, but... Um, Williams in the testing really um, concerned me because of the fact that um, they did um, spend time in the gravel half the time. And um, Lance Stroll and Williams spent the entire second week at the bottom of the um, timesheets. So, yeah, it's kind of concerning. And um, when I looked at the um, progress charts, um, a lot of teams made up um, a second or more. The only two teams that didn't were Mercedes. Well, they weren't using the hyper the hyper soft tires, which is new tires. They were using the softs um, throughout the, and um, the mediums, I think, throughout the um, entire testing. But Williams only made two temps. It's just very concerning that the fact that Williams only made two temps from um, 2017's testing. I'm really worried about Williams this season. I, I can't say that I'm too confident, but I'm really worried. And I think Robert Kubica will be really helpful if he can um, get a race in um, for Williams this season. Because I think they will personally struggle. I don't think they will get fifth place in the Constructors. I just think Williams will struggle. That's just my personal thing. Just um, looking at the data and whatnot from all the testing, Williams is just didn't convince me at all. Lance Stroll was at bottom of the sheets most of the time, and Sorokin has pretty much been um, faster than him throughout the um, practice, uh, not practice, but the testing. So I'm not really, um, to say I'm safe with Williams, I don't think so. I think they're um, going to struggle this year. So yeah, Robert Kubica will get um, a race this season, I believe, and um, Williams was to struggle. That is my other prediction, so yeah, I've already thrown that in there. Um, I do believe Force India will retain fourth place in the um, midfield battle. So, um, obviously, um, the top three teams, Ferrari, Mercedes and Red Bull, they'll keep first, second and third, respectively. And I do think Force India will actually um, keep fourth place. Yes, yeah, Sergio Perez has given talk about um, them not um, being the top team in the midfield anymore. But um, in the testing, they weren't really running the, the specs for um, Australia. They were running them just testing specs. So upgrades are due to come in Melbourne. And I do think Force India will be very competitive in terms of 6th, um, 7th and whatnot um, for Australia. Um, for them to get a podium this year, I think it will just be in a matter of luck with um, the front runners retiring or just having a bad race and whatnot. Or they're pacing Baku and races like that. Tracks that suit them, I do think um, they will do very well on those tracks. But um, apart from that, I think they need luck of retirements from like Ferrari, Mercedes and Red Bull for them to actually um, get a podium. That's just my opinion. But I think Ocon and Perez will get podiums this season. But I've, my main talking point was Ocon actually um, getting his very first podium this season. Um, another prediction is... Um, well, another prediction is I believe um, Carlos Sainz might get a podium as well, actually. He's a very talented driver. He already uh, proved that by getting fourth place in the Toro Rosso in Singapore. Yeah, there was crashes with um, Verstappen, um, Raikkonen and Vettel. That did obviously help. But um, Carlos Sainz is very talented. And we all know this um, from him finishing fifth place in the Toro Rosso. I think it was in 2015 and 16, I believe. But um, he's definitely one talent to watch out for in the future. And um, if he doesn't get that Red Bull seat within the um, next season or whatnot, I do probably see him in the Ferrari or um, a team like that, a top team, because he is a very quality driver. But um, I think the back markers will be a surprise, as my other po um, as my other prediction. Um, I think Salba, Toro Rosso... And, um, well, McLaren, obviously, were a back marker last year. But um, Toro Rosso and Sauber, I think they'll do very well this year. Toro Rosso, um, during the um, testing in uh, Barcelona, was definitely the surprise package. Because um, they only used um, two, I think it was two or three engines for the entire testing. So that is a huge step for Honda and Toro Rosso themselves. So I think they'll be a very big surprise for um, this season. And Sauber as well. 
they made up a lot of time from um, 2017. I think they made up 1.5 seconds. So they did close the gap down just um, slightly, but they're much better. But I know that um, yeah, this partnership with Alfa Romeo is a new thing and it will probably kick in in 2019. So I think they're looking towards 2019. Personally, for me, I think they are, but they're still going to look into 2018 because... Um, Finishing ninth in the constructors is much better than tenth because you do get money on top of that, more money than finishing tenth. So, pretty sure Sauber will want to do better than finishing last place in the constructors championship. So, that's how I see that. And Toros, I think, will finish higher than eighth. I think they'll probably finish. Um, maybe they will finish eighth. I think Toros will probably finish eighth or seventh. That's just my prediction there. But um, should I go to my predictions of um, the top five contenders for the championship? Well, there's lots of contenders this year, actually, for the championship, but um, I'm just going to name five drivers. Obviously, Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel will be two. I think Max Verstappen will be a contender this year if Red Bull actually have a great car instead of um, just having a great second half of the season. So I think um, if Red Bull have a great first half of the season and um, keep that into the second half of the season, they'll be contenders. But normally it's always their first half of the season that stops starts and always reliability issues. If it's not Max Verstappen having um, reliability issues, it's Daniel Ricciardo. So, yeah, um, speaking of Daniel Ricciardo, that's my fourth person that will be a contender this year. And um, I do think either Valtteri Bottas and Kimi Raikkonen will be contenders this year. But um, I'm not too sure because both, between the two of them, um, in terms of competing with Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel, teammates respectively, both of them just seemed off pace here and there. But um, obviously Bottas won his first races last year, so uh, that gave him a bit of confidence. But um, if I have to pick one, I think Valtteri Bottas will be up there. But Kimi Raikkonen... Um, our three brothers will be up there, but I'm going to be a bit biased because um, my predictions of becoming world champions and constructors world champions. A world champion, uh, just just don't um, judge me. I am I am a Kimi Raikkonen fan, and I do hope Kimi Raikkonen gets that second world championship. So I've stuck with Kimi Raikkonen to win the world championship in 2018. Big stretch. You guys can put your comments in who will win the um, who do you think will win the championship and whatnot. But mine's going to be Kimi Raikkonen. I'm going to put my faith in Kimi Raikkonen that he will end his. Um, windless drought and that he will actually challenge this year for this he seems very motivated this year he's created an instagram and has been very motivated um by interacting with fans and whatnot so i find that cool i think he really is um really motivated for this season so um i hope kimmy raikkonen does break that wind drought because i have huge faith in him and i'm just a kimmy raikkonen fan but um it will be good for formula one if he's competing with vettel and hamilton and bottas and um, verstappen and ricardo it'll be very very good if he is competing with those lot to be honest with you because um a lot of people have been questioning him since 2014 when he moved back to ferrari saying is he just there for the money or has he lost motivation but I don't think he has. I think he does have uh, motivation, but uh, he just needs to have better luck because reliability-wise, his car has really let him down sometimes. So I do see Kimi Raikkonen um, challenging if he gets um, good reliability because Ferrari's reliability is questionable sometimes. I can admit that myself because um, being a Ferrari fan, um, it is hard to um, watch them when they have broken down like last season. The second half of the season, their reliability was terrible. And that's where it ended for them, um, championship-wise. But um, I do believe Ferrari will win the Constructors' Championship this year. Like I said, if they have um, better reliability than um, in throughout the entire season. The first season, their reliability was excellent. But um, the second half, it was horrible. So if Ferrari keeps that consistent, I reckon they can win the Constructors' Championship. So um, my my um, predictions in World Championship is Kimi Raikkonen and... Um, my constructors one is Ferrari. Uh, let me throw in another prediction, actually. Um, speaking of which, um, I think probably um, one of the midfielders will actually score more than two podiums this season. So, whether I do think, um, I'm just going to pull out there the midfielders. I'm not going to say which team, but um, I know they will score one between them. But I know, um, I know probably some of them will score one between them. But um, I'm hoping that, um, like, Force India. Uh, McLaren and whatnot will score two, not or more, because um I think a lot of people would just find it good to see the midfield actually get in the podium, whether it's second or third or even a race win. It would just be nice for Formula One to see the midfield actually get more podiums, but it's going to be hard considering Mercedes, Ferrari, and Red Bull are steps ahead of them. But anyway, this is my predictions for um, 2018. I hope um, you guys can throw in some predictions of your own. I will read them and reply and say good predictions and whatnot. 
But um, this is um, Samurai TX signing out. Until then, until then. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next video of Formula One next week in um, after the Australian Grand Prix. See you later, everybody.